Oh, awesome. All right, and so so uh, the United States stood by as tens of thousands were murdered and displaced uh, under the Somoza dictatorship, and this led uh, to civil war um, starting in 1972, and which both the, the Democrats and uh, Republicans supported uh, uh, the Somoza government, and then later uh, mercenaries and, and Contras against the, the Democratic forces of Nicaragua. Um, this situation created another 150,000 international refugees, um, and the United States spent $1.3 billion on this conflict, which resulted into uh, 60,000 lost lives. So, I mean, the United States has played a huge role in the destabilization of Central America, but it's not the only actor, but we can obviously see the influence that it's had there with the amount of money spent, uh, the amount of military aid sent, and the amount of influence that it has in the politics of uh, Central America. Um, So, crisis, civil war, and the undermining of democracy and civil society does lead to the displacement of people and the creation of refugees. Um, the caravan is kind of a summation of this. Um, they're here to seek asylum and to protest United States intervention in their country. Um, and the United States is legally obligated to pr process requests for asylum and not close the United States border. Um, you know, and for people that are like, oh, well, we're a country of laws, we like law and order, you know, we, we, are, we have laws and we have to follow those laws, um, this one's for y'all, because the United States is a signatory of the 1951 uh, and 1967 uh, Protocol and Convention of the United Nations on Refugees, um, and also United States Immigration Law, the Refugee Act of 1980, both stipulate that the United States does have to process asylum requests uh, from wh wherever they come. Um, and so we, the United States is an entity that is legally obligated to, to handle this crisis. But uh, the, the, the caravan at the, the border being turned away, refugees being turned away, is not new. Um, and it's, it's, it's not uh, something that we can... Um, and, and like the launching of tear gas canisters at children and stuff like that, that's not new. That's, that's not something that's unique to Trump. Trump is not unique in this. Um, over a dozen times during the Obama administration, orders were given to launch tear gas at people at the borders. Um, and, and, and these kinds of actions have been continuing for, for decades. It's more than just the Democrats and Republicans. Um, and, and so we believe that it is crucial to stand on the side of humanity, and not violence against helpless refugees who are flee, flee, fleeing violence in their home ran, homeland. Um, so it's really important not to make this make this about Trump like the uh, like the Democrats are trying to do. Um, it, it's really important not to put Trump's name all over this, to plaster his image all over it, because it's not something that is especially unusual. It's not something that's unique to Donald Trump. And sure, he is a volatile figure. He is a figure that uh, incites violence and that incites conflict uh, in, in the United States. But it's important to to contextualize this situation historically and to, to, to really know, know the truth about uh, why this caravan is here, why refugees try and come to the United States in the first place, um, and, and that, that the United States is obligated legally to, uh, to process them. Um, and so, you know, we can't make this about Trump. It's really important that we don't make this about Trump and try and pin all the blame on Trump because it's, it's, it's not correct, it's not historically correct, um, and, and we need to put, uh, you know, we need to put responsibility on who owns that responsibility. And that is not, not only the Democrats, not only the Republicans, but the system as a whole. We have a, a system that, that, you know, incites bigotry and, and violence towards refugees and, and generally um, uh, creates a, a situation where people are, are unwilling to accept them uh, in, in a lot of cases into our society. Um, and so... That's, that's all I really have to say. Um, just wanted to, to provide some historical context for, for this situation um, and, and, and let people know that, that we do, it's important to be out here and, and supporting uh, refugees that are, are here le are trying to seek legal asylum. Um, so I, right now I want to open it up for anybody else uh, that, that may want to say anything about this. Um, you know, I want to have an open forum here where, where people feel free to talk. So if anybody has anything to, to say or to add to this, uh, you know, now, now's the time.